One of the most significant events in America's spaceflight history happened in February. On February 20th, 1962, John Glenn made the first orbital flight aboard Friendship 7. It was also the first time NASA had to deal with an emergency in space, when Glenn had a warning that his landing bag had deployed while still in orbit. So what does it mean that Glenn's landing bag was deployed? The landing bag was an additional cushioning mechanism, folded, like an accordion, between the heat shield and the main body of the spacecraft. It was designed to deploy at the last minute. When the heat shield fell away, it would pull the landing bag down. So if the landing bag was deployed, it meant the heat shield wasn't attached to the capsule. And if the heat shield wasn't attached to the capsule, it meant John Glenn wasn't going to survive the fiery re-entry. NASA needed a solution, and it had one option. The straps connecting the retro rockets to the spacecraft. It covered the heat shield and might be able to keep it in place just long enough for Glenn to survive. But what would it do to the re-entry? To find out, they called Max Faget, the Langley engineer who'd actually designed the Mercury capsule. Faget had thought something like this might happen. Not exactly Glenn's situation, but had wondered about vehicle stability if for some reason the retro rocket stayed attached to the capsule during re-entry. To figure out what would happen, he put two scale Mercury models in a wind tunnel, one with retro rockets attached and one without. The answer was nothing. It was perfectly safe for the retro rockets to stay attached to the capsule during re-entry, and so the word went to Glenn, don't jettison your retro rockets. It was a bit of a scary re-entry. Glenn saw burning debris blasting past his window and thought the heat shield was coming apart. But it wasn't, it was just the straps giving way after just 24 seconds. And we have a living John Glenn today to prove that the fix worked. It turned out there was nothing wrong with Glenn's spacecraft. The light turned out to be erroneous, faulty wiring leading to a faulty signal. After the flight, one of the changes made to future Mercury spacecraft was to change the wiring to prevent the same thing from happening. John Glenn's potentially fatal re-entry and recovery. It happened in space.